And here we are flow testing the CNC metal brock heads and see what kind of airflow we gain over the stock 225 CFM from metal brock. Okay, so it flowed at 600 lift, it flowed 68.5% of the 5 scale, which would be 446.8 CFM. So we'll take 446.8 on the 5 scale times 0.685, 306 CFM at 600 lift. Okay, now we're going to test the exhaust port and uh, see how close to the 230 CFM number that uh, we can come to on it. Okay, so it flowed 74.8% uh, on the 4 scale, which is 319 CFM, so we'll take 319 times 0.748, 238 .6 CFM at 600 lift. over the valve stems using the special uh, protection sleeve to keep the seal from skipping over the grooves and ruining the seal area. check for proper spring pressure at our installed height which is 1-800 on the height mic. And just put the spring in, give it a good crunch to get a good accurate reading. 1-800 is the height. It runs down to it just barely touches. So as you can see at 1-800 installed height with the height mic it's 155 pounds closed which is good enough for 7,000 RPM on pretty much any hydraulic roller cam at 600 lift. And here we are installing the valve springs and retainers onto the cylinder head using our air spring compressor. And once you get it set up properly it makes installing valve springs very easy. 